Here we're going to look at order of operations in the context of a relatively complicated problem that you should expect to see when working in this section. Here we've got a really big square root symbol, a long division bar. We have 5 minus 3 squared plus 2 minus 3 squared plus 2 minus 3 squared all over 3. That long division bar you've probably seen before and that tells us to simplify everything on the top simplify everything on the bottom and then divide. The square root symbol that covers everything is what we're going to do at the very end. So what we've got to do first here is simplify everything that's on the top of this division bar and we're going to have to use order of operations as we do that. Remember Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So, anything that's inside parentheses is going to have to get done first. So let's start there. We'll have our big square root symbol. And inside parentheses, like about 5 minus 3. So that's going to be a 2. And that exponent is going to stay. Then... In my next set of parentheses, I have 2 minus 3, which is negative 1, and I have an exponent that's going to stay. And in my next set of parentheses, I have 2 minus 3 again, which is negative 1, and I have that exponent that's going to stay. And the 3 that's on the bottom, that just comes along. All right, we took care of everything that was in parentheses. Next, we have to take care of any exponents that we have. And we have several. So we'll do that next. Moving over, we will keep our square root symbol. And I've got 2 squared is going to be 4 plus negative 1 squared is going to be 1 plus negative 1 squared is going to be 1. And that's all over 3. Continuing from where we left off, I'm still not done simplifying what's on top of that long division bar, where I have 4 plus 1 plus 1. So we'll add all those together, and I'll have 6 over 3. And now I've simplified everything that's on the top. The bottom really didn't need any simplifying, so now I'll do the division. And when I have 6 divided by 3... That'll become just the square root symbol still there with a 2 underneath. Now I've finally reached a step where I have nothing left but that square root symbol. And I'm going to go ahead and take the square root of this number, which will be 1.414. If I was going to round that to the hundreds place, my answer would be 1.41. Be careful with those steps. There's quite a few in there. We had to take care of everything on the top, then divide, and then take the square root at the very end.